What do you mean by mega sporogenesis, guys? What do you mean by mega sporogenesis? Like microsporogenesis, right? Microsporogenesis is the formation of microspore from microspore mother cell. Similarly, mega sporogenesis is the formation of mega spores from the mega spore mother cells. All right. Okay. So now mega sporogenesis. The process of formation of the process of formation of mega spore from mega spore mother cell by meiotic division. Just try to compare with microsporogenesis. Microsporogenesis is also formation of microspore from mega spore from microspore mother cells through meiotic division. So which type of cell division takes place here? meiosis okay so here also meiosis cell division so whenever the cell divide meiotically then only you will get micro or mega spore the process takes place in ovule so where does that microsporogenesis takes place within the anther here within the ovule ovule differentiate in single mega spore mother cell right now what happened one ovule that the structure of ovule you have learned na, initially that ovule differentiate into my mega spore mother cell okay that ovule converted into mega spore mother cell in the micropylar region of nucellus mmc mega spore mother cell now undergo meiotic division that results into the production of four mega spore so what happened at the micropylar end this is the micropylar top end right these are the nucellus so what happened the ovule can differentiate itself into mega spore mother cell so now see this is the embryo sac initially it is the embryo sac of ovule so now this embryo sac of ovule differentiate into mega spore mother cell and see the this embryo sac initially surrounded by the nucellus right it is surrounded by the nucellus so this is the embryo sac only now differentiated into micros mega spore mother cell now within the mega spore mother cell it undergo meiosis and after meiosis what happened one mega spore mother cell <laughs> and form four and form four mega spore cells so ek jaise wahan pe one microspore mother cell pe four microspore bane here also from one mega spore mother cell four mega spore cells bane see this is your one two three and the four so here you will get four mega spore mother cell called as mega spore tetrad theek hai now out of four three degenerated so total four initially in microsporogenesis four microspores are formed all four converted differentiated into pollen grain but here out of four three degenerated only one left three mega spore degenerate one mega spore develop into female gametophyte called as embryo sac okay one developed into one mega spore develop in female gametophyte to jo ek bacha abhi wo female gametophyte mein convert hoga now suppose this is one left all three degenerated 
now the new nucleus of functional mega spore so now suppose this is the functional mega spore formed three degenerated three degenerated so now the nucleus this is what nucleus now the nucleus of this mega spore nucleus of functional mega spore divide mitotically to form two nuclei okay so this one nucleus divided into two nuclei right which further moves to opposite poles which further move towards the opposite pole see when this nucleus divide one nucleus moves towards this end another nucleus move towards this end right so both of them moves towards the opposite pole and now what is this structure called two nucleate embryo sac so this structure is considered as two nucleate embryo sac in a embryo sac now you have two nucleus okay further two more sequential mitotic division results into eight nucleate embryo sac now see again this nucleus divide into two this nucleus divide into two further these two divided this also divide into two this also divide into two you will get four and four so now this stage is called as eight nucleate embryo sac okay this is called as eight nucleate embryo sac all right now this eight nucleate embryo sac now guys six of the eight nuclei i think two times we have same slide right okay so now six so total how many nuclei till now you will get in a embryo sac eight nuclei bane theek hai eight nuclei you will get and considered as a eight nucleate embryo sac out of eight now six nuclei six of the eight nuclei surrounded by cell wall and the remaining two nuclei are situated below the egg apparatus see six nuclei 1 2 3 1 2 3 so three nuclei surrounded by cell wall right this is the cell wall of three nuclei right only two nuclei is not surrounded by separate cell wall they are called as what polar nuclei all right they are called as polar nuclei so six of the eight nuclei surrounded by cell wall and remaining two nuclei called as polar nuclei situated below the egg apparatus three cells are grouped at micropylar end so now out of six these two are now polar nuclei also called and this whole cell is called central cell this one cell is called as a central cell am i clear what is central cell it is visible let me make now this is central cell okay so this is central cell and these are the polar nuclei okay now what happen three cells are grouped at micropylar end so this is the micropylar end and at the micropylar end three cells are grouped together now out of these three sets they constitute egg apparatus so these three cells constitute egg apparatus which has three cells at chalaza and known as antipodal cells now opposite to micropyle you have a chalaza end chalaza there you have antipodal here you have egg apparatus where you have one egg cell and two synergid so one egg and two synergid forms 
एग एपरेटस okay they form egg apparatus where you have egg apparatus at the micropylar end right how many cells in the egg apparatus three opposite to micropyle you have a chalazal end what type of cell you will get at chalazal end end photo cells okay so at maturity now embryo sac is eight nucleate seven celled Eight nucleate, seven cells. So now see, this is the mature embryo sac, which is made up of eight nuclei: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And cell is only seven: one, two, three, four, five, six. And this whole central seven cells. So this is what we call eight nucleate, seven cell. So at the maturity, the embryo sac becomes eight nucleate, seven cell. अब एग्जाम की तैयारी को और बेहतर करने के लिए हमारे चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें।